Hello, Simon Cole, Chief Constable of Leicestershire Police. Uh, how the police communicate with local communities is always a, a really important issue. Uh, you're probably watching this on new media in some way. Uh, we also have a thing called Neighbourhood Link, and can I just commend Neighbourhood Link to you? I am personally registered as a local citizen. As I talk, the details of how to register will appear on the screen. Uh, but Neighbourhood Link is a way that you can tailor messages for your neighbourhood, whether you live in the city or out in the counties or in a really rural area or in a really built up area. And it will tell you what your local policing team are doing in your community. So please do take a look at Neighbourhood Link. We've currently got about 12,000 people signed up. We'd love to see some more. And I know that they use it and they forward on the messages that come out. So please do have a look. Good news last week was that the budget was approved. Thank you very much to the Police and Crime Commissioner and also the Police and Crime Panel for their support. That means we are recruiting some more people and some more PCSOs. PCSO recruiting will open on the 24th of February. and We have a great chance there to recruit another 20 extra PCSOs on top of those we're recruiting anyway. And police recruiting, you can express an interest in the degree apprentice route at the moment and you can also apply for a degree holder entry programme. And obviously we've got another 100 police officers to find now that the budget has come in, so that's good. This week also sees Safer Internet Day. I would say to you every day should be Safer Internet Day. And if you don't believe me, I'd invite you to watch Kaylee's Love Story or Breck's Last Game to understand why every day needs to be Safer Internet Day. Last couple of things. Uh, I'm a trustee of the Care Police Survivors, so last week I was accompanied by PC Edward Walker. Um, whilst it felt slightly surreal on occasions to have a teddy bear with me, uh, we did raise a bit of money uh, and we also, I hope, raised the profile of this really important charity. And finally, thank you to those from local universities and also from the force and from the East Midlands Police Academic Collaboration, known as MPAC, who sorted out the Research Cafe Day here last week. Really interesting to see how academic research meets policing uh, and how we can help each other uh, to make the world a safer place. Thank you.